Hi everyone, this is Yannick Stenger, Leica Cyclone Sweetheart Product Manager. I am pleased to introduce today the great new features of the 2021.2 release. Cyclone Sweetheart users will benefit from incredible improvements of the product, designed to bring always more automation in your workflows and more interoperability during your reality capture journeys. My goal today is to demonstrate the values of the five main new features. Automatic and manual classification, the first tool based on artificial intelligence to classify your point clouds in one click. Export to BCF to bring your beam analysis results into the beam ecosystem. Connect to Cyclone Field 360 in touch mode. In addition to the connection to Cyclone Fieldworks, you will be able to proceed a wireless transfer of your scan projects from Field 360 to 3DR touch mode. Mesh segmentation, a new automatic tool to make your mesh workflows quick and smart. And scan to plan, an updated interface and new tools to make you extract your floor plans faster. Let's see now the demonstration of these new main features. I am very happy to announce to Cyclone Sweetheart users that they are going to benefit from machine learning automatic classification capacity. That means for the last release that five new features are delivered. First, the automatic classification, obviously, for indoor and outdoor applications, but also the manual capacity to classify and to sort the data of one point cloud. A new representation is also necessary to display the classified point clouds. Standard LAS and LAS formats are now fully supported after import and export via Cyclone 3 And finally, an explode by classes tool is available within the product. Let's classify uh, the blk 2 go dataset of this stockpile. I am running the auto classification, so after making sure that I have the outdoor model for this classification, I just have to launch a preview and uh, after the computation I can get a classified point cloud. Here you can see that the results are really great. The next move is to run the manual classification feature and uh, with the user-friendly popular clean separate interface, it's easy to define which points are classified in which classes. So here obviously I'm selecting the ground points to uh, finalize the job and with a simple click I can class those points in the predefined class. And for specific areas, what I can do is um, create new classes or select uh, classes from my favorite list. So for this machine control equipment, I just have to select the, the predefined user classes. And it's easy to repeat the tasks several times on the same classes. And when finally the point cloud is properly classified, it's possible to use the export by class tool to split the point clouds in uh, many point clouds and uh, run uh, another job in Cyclone 3 dr and with the, the ground class, there is a, a very simple application like uh, creating a, a DTM that I recommend after uh, auto classification from uh, an outdoor model. For your Bing workflows, the new export to, to BCF feature will definitely help you save time, bring efficiency when you share information, results uh, from analysis in Cyclone 3 and to, to collaborate uh, with other uh, third-party applications because BCF is an open uh, BIM standard format that is supported by uh, many uh, BIM um, software applications. And thanks uh, to this efficient new feature, you will be able to create notes. Those notes um, will stand for issues or clashes directly from existing commands like uh, the beam inspection workflow in touch mode or clash analysis. 
but uh, also from the new inspection notes that is created in the desktop application and that I'm going to quickly demonstrate right now. To start uh, an inspection note project, you have to select first an inspected uh, BIM model and uh, now this is very similar to the existing uh, BIM inspection workflow in touch mode so I can create many notes and for my first note uh, I can define one title, description, also priority that is important for the collaboration in another uh, BIM uh, environment. I can create labels and also uh, multiple screenshots for example and when I am done uh, it's easy to create another note and from this note again I can create a title, define a description and a priority and many uh, deviation values in labels. Finally, when I am done with my notes, I can export all those issues in one BCF zip file. And before jumping into another uh, third party application, a PDF report is automatically created and it will contain uh, the screenshots, the, all the description and the deviation values you created from the notes. Let's see now inside a BCF management solution. So here I am in a BIMTRACK platform and what I can do is uh, drag and drop the BCF file that I created to create uh, new issues in uh, the, the BIM uh, project environment. And you can see that I have created uh, three issues from my inspection of this facade. And uh, all the screenshots that I created uh, can be uh, checked. And I can open the issues and uh, as a, a BIM manager, uh, what I can do is assign the topic, the issue to, uh, or the clash to uh, another stakeholder. I can define a, a discipline. It is also possible to add comments. And finally, in the attachment, you can find the CSV file that contains all the deviation values. Six months only after the, the release of Touch Mode and its BIM inspection workflow, we are happy to release as well a new interoperability feature between Cyclone Studio Touch Mode and Cyclone Field 360. Thanks to this new feature, you will be able to proceed BIM inspection on uh, data sets coming from uh, Field 360, which means that uh, scanners like RTC 360 or BLK 360 can now be uh, imported in Touch Mode. Let's start now a BIM inspection workflow in touch mode. And in one click, I can connect to Field 360 in the load scan step. The procedure to connect Cyclone Field 360 to touch mode is similar to uh, the uh, wireless connection between Register 360 and Field 360. So I just have to, uh, to synchronize the, my Field 360 application to define the appropriate IP address. And with one click on connect, I get uh, the portfolio of my Field360 project. Another click to, to import all the data from Field360 to touch mode, and you can see that uh, my uh, full project is properly imported in uh, Cyclone 3 r touch mode. Now I'm directly jumping from the load scan step to uh, the delivering parts by creating notes. If you are interested in more videos about the previous steps of the touch workflow beam inspection, uh, just check uh, our YouTube channel. In the final step of the workflow, you can see now that there is also a BCF tool to directly export uh, a BCF uh, file that will contain all the issues from the inspection and I can also export a, a PDF. Within the 2021.2 version, Cyclone Swedia provides a nice tool for mesh segmentation. That means that in one click it will be very easy to extract from one mesh the segmentation of the mesh model, but also many geometrical features like planes, cylinders, cones, or spheres. 
thanks to the flexibility of mesh segmentation. This is a new tool that will help all the industries like buildings, infrastructure or manufacturing to address as built modeling, reverse engineering or any kind of analysis application. We are going to see now how it is easy to use mesh segmentation in Cyclone Sulia. So here is uh, an example of uh, a parking lot and I previously created a mesh from it. And so in the surface modeling menu, there is this new segmentation tool and the UI is pretty easy to use with uh, some parameters to define and also the choice of features to extract. Here I'm choosing to extract the planes of this mesh and you can see that in one click I managed to extract all the mesh surfaces that represent a, a plane and it is also possible to extract the planes only. Mesh segmentation is an additional tool in the panel of functions of Cyclone Solar capacity and mesh segmentation can be used to uh, run other kind of workflows like analysis or uh, as-built modeling. Benefiting from the creation of meshes from geometry, you can see that it's very easy to, to create a theoretical model of this parking. Let's talk now about scan to plan improvements. We were very proud last year when we released the scan to plan workflow to help you extract sections and floor plans for building application. Within the new release, we are happy to um, deliver new capacities, uh, a new quick slice mode for the first step of the workflow, a new semi-automatic extraction that I'm going to demonstrate right now and new tools for the addition of the polylines. Here is a point cloud of an apartment and I'm going to extract the floor plan and to send it to AutoCAD with a scan to plan. So at the very beginning of the workflow I can benefit from the quick slice mode to define a slice along one of the main axis direction. And in the next step there is a new toolbar that is really user-friendly to do the extraction job and I can benefit from the new quick draw extraction tool in the step of the workflow and with quick draw it's very easy and very fast to extract a floor plan so you can see that with one single click on each segment of wall the job is very easy to, to, to get done. And for specific areas, it's possible to, to double click on the polyline and to edit it and benefit from the improved tools for the edition. And we also released uh, the capacity to create junction between two segments to make the, the job very fast. And again, it's possible to, to run quick draw for another room and with one single click on each segment, the room is extracted with accuracy and it can be closed very quickly with one single click. Make sure to stay tuned because we will release the tips and tricks videos to, to show you all the tool tips to, to save time when you benefit from scan to plan And at the end, with the Send to AutoCAD feature, exporting a floor plan is very fast. Let me remind you the great new features that are delivered within Cyclone Swilia 2021.2 release. Automatic and manual classification, export to BCF, connect to Field360 in touch mode, mesh segmentation, and new tools for scan to plan. Besides, the release of the product includes many improvements, but also the publishing capacity to export LGS point clouds from Cyclone Swedia to every Leica Geosystems software solutions. For your daily job, Cyclone Swedia last release is leveraging your tasks with automation and interoperability to help you address 
any kind of applications involving 3D laser scanner, building, infrastructure, plant, tank or terrain. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let's catch up very soon with the future releases of Cyclone 3DR.